Hello everyone, this is Andrea. Today we are going to identify the location and the shape of our watershed that is influencing our plant drainage. As well, we are going to identify the direction of the water in the plant drainage and the way to display the profile of our drainage. Let's display our site with a global mapper. You can see it here with the red boundary and Google Earth on the background. Now let's display the drainage. You can see the black line. At this point we have to see how this drainage behaves, the direction of the water and the profile of this drainage. We deactivate the images. We activate the watershed. We can see on the left a small stream that drain into the drainage while on the north we have the big stream big area that drain into the big stream let's see the watershed we can see a small watershed drain on the left side and a very small watershed drain on the upper side of the drain but we still don't know the slope or the profile of this drainage. For that, we need to first deactivate the watershed. We reactivate the digital elevation model. At this point, we select the drain only. Now with the mouse we go over the drain, we right click on it and we click on analysis and apply elevation to selected features. Here it will ask you from where you will take the elevation and additionally if the elevation already exists do you want to replace it? Yes. At this point your drain has received an elevation. At this point, we can see the profile. We just go over it with right click. Again, analysis measurement and profile. And we can see the profile of the drain based on this existing uh, digital elevation model. You can see the red cross on the upper part. From there, it goes up to this point, which is the highest point. And again, from there, it goes down to the low point. What does it mean? If we display again our watershed and our camp, we can see that this watershed drain to this part going down and this small watershed drain to the upper part going to the right. Let's understand now better the situation about our site. First of all, I will have to create and display some random points around my sites. I did it before and here they are. Then I will see what happens with the rainwater that falls over those points. I select my digital terrain model. I select those random points, right click and select all. And I run again the watershed analysis with different parameters. The name would be watershed 50 front points. Cell count, I keep it 50. And I click the option trace flow from selected point. I need to limit the analysis to the visible area as usually and I can run it. Now I deselect all those watershed that I don't want to see. I deselect as well the digital terrain model and this new layer is going to be split. Right click on layer and split. I 
and now we can see what happens with the drop of water that falls over the points. And if we display the watershed area, we can clearly see the direction of the water flowing around the site. This helps you to understand better how the site is going to be naturally drained. Now that we have our drain, we can imagine the amount of water that the drain needs to collect.